I'm Kathleen Hudson, the director of the Texas Heritage Music Foundation, and we are located on the beautiful campus of Schreiner University in Kerrville, Texas, and I also happen to teach English there, and I do love that spot in the world. I want to talk to you today about some other things I love, some musicians, some performances, and some upcoming events. Speaking of musicians, this town is loaded with good ones. And they come here in the droves for the Kerrville Folk Festival. And I recently went out to a venue on the way to Hunt, Texas called the Roddy Tree Ranch. And there I saw a group of young men, Jake Asbury, Max Watson, and two more, who call themselves Cougar Bait. Now, my friends did not necessarily want to go to that show with me when I invited them using that name, but uh, we'll leave that discussion for later. These young men are just off a big win in Austin, Texas, uh, Battle of the Bands. And that's pretty hard to do in Austin. And these young men rocked the house. Big rain, cleared up, and we heard wonderful, original, stunning rock and roll. So that's Cougar Bay, Jake Asbury, Max Watson, and I mean those guys just rock the house. Now I happen to run around the hill country on the road and uh, get to hear some new performers and get to hear some of my favorites. Some of the new performers include Parker Millsap who opened up the uh, Kerrville Festival over Labor Day, and his trio has just become an absolute example of what it is to play fine, original, uh, distinct music, and that's what I like. Sideshow Tragedy, they just played at the Texas Heritage Coffee House, again bringing that unique, distinct sound that um, really can't compare. So the Hill Country is full of uh, grand adventures. What is ahead is the Texas Heritage Music Day, and that is September the 27th at Shriner University. And on this day, 50 performers will gather right out under the trees and on the stage, and we're available for tourists and uh, available for people who want to take a break at lunch. Yes, I know it's during a Friday because we have a big audience of teachers and students. Fritz Marquecho is going to host the 10 o'clock tribute to Hispanic heritage. Dale Friedrich will kick it off at 9 o'clock with gospel music. Stephanie Urbina Jones will come in for some songs. We will have uh, Bill and Mary Muse. We will have Tim Summerlin doing a tribute to Jimmy Rogers. And it's going to be a wonderful day. The Shriner Choir, Chuck Wagons, TPs, and one of our favorites, Doug Baum, who's now touring Jordan with his camels. He will be here to tell stories of the camel in Texas. So that's September 27th from 9 to 1.30. Uh, join us. Come out there. It's, it's my 26th year to work on this. Secondly, a musician I love, as well as a venue, Terry Hendricks and Lloyd Maines, and they will be playing a free concert Friday night at Shriner University, September 27th, still part of our event, and uh, it'll be upstairs in the ballroom of the uh, Callow Activity Center on the Shriner campus. And you may as well just be thinking the whole weekend because Stephanie Urbina Jones is hosting Viva Texacana. And that's from four to nine at the Pioneer Museum in Fredericksburg. And Florin Sanchez will be playing with her, jalapeno eating contest, mariachis, um, a young percussion group from Uvalde. It will be interesting. And no matter how tired I am the next day after our event, I will be at Viva Texacana. And to make it even worse, that night at the Roddy Tree, starting about 9.30, so you can do all of this. If I can do it all, you can do it all. Papa Molly, voodoo, fortune tellers, New Orleans, swamp music. Thank you, James Harvey and Keith Asbury. 
So that's just a little bit of what's going on in the Texas Hill Country and a few stories about some musicians I love. With that, let's just go on the road.